Should I get an IT certification? Hi, my name is Dewan Lightfoot. I'm a senior network engineer and I have 15 years of IT experience. In this video, I teamed with CompTIA to discuss a recent YouTube video that I created about chasing IT certification versus building IT skills. Achieving IT certifications has a number of benefits. One of those benefits is personal fulfillment. Another benefit is financial growth and is a boost in confidence. But most importantly, IT certification shows employers that you have the ability to learn, focus, and that you take your career seriously. When it comes to certifications and skills, here are 10 questions you should ask yourself before you chase your next IT certification. Number one on the list, why should I get an IT certification? In January, I earned the DevOps Foundation certification. Through my studying of that certification, I learned that a business to establish its why, which is its beliefs, its purpose, its goals, and its reason for doing something. This can also be applied to IT certifications. What is your purpose? What is your beliefs? What is your goal? And what is your reason for achieving that IT certification? And establishing your why also puts your goal in direct focus. Number two, does this IT certification align with my career goals? I have spoken to hundreds, if not thousands of people since I've started my journey on YouTube. And nothing burdens me more than hearing someone working on their IT certification that doesn't align with their career goals. When you are seeking an IT certification, my advice is to always map out your plan. A great way to do this is by checking out the CompTIA roadmap. Let's say you want to be in IT security. It'll actually list from beginning to end each certification that will help you become an expert in IT security. IT certifications require time, energy, and money, and none of those should ever be wasted. So be sure that you have a clear plan when you're working on your next IT certification. Will this IT certification improve my skills? Let's be honest. Some certification exams is just a bunch of questions that we memorize, and once the exam is over, we totally forget the information. CompTIA's performance-based questions require you not only to answer the questions, but to also demonstrate your skills through performance-based questions, which proves that you can do the work and not just memorize facts. To me, if the certification doesn't improve my skills or my resume, I don't waste my time on it. I would rather have one certification that improves my knowledge, skills, and resume than 10 certifications that add me no value. Number four, what value will this IT certification add to my resume? In order to pass HR's automated filter systems, you need to have certs, skills, degree, or all three. But if you don't have the skills and you don't have a degree, check in the box like the CompTIA A+, or the CompTIA Security+, Plus or the CCNA will help you get past HR and maybe even land an interview. Speaking of automation, learning skills like PowerShell, Python, or Ansible will also help you stand out in 2019. Number five, does this certification relate to my current job? I've been in IT, like I said, for over 15 years. And throughout the course of my career, I've achieved several certifications. And each time I prepare for a certification, what I have learned is that it's easier for me to achieve a certification if it's aligned with my actual day-to-day -day job. Reason being, let's say I'm working on my Network Plus and in my current role, I'm working on networks all day. This will allow me to lab every day at work, and then when I go home, I can read books and also study my note cards, which allows me more time throughout my day to spend time doing the things I love, like maybe spending time with my family, hiking, hitting the gym, or whatever you love to do to help you have balance in your life. Number six, will this IT certification increase my salary? Skills pays the bills. Ask anybody in any profession and they'll tell you the same. A cool thing about CompTIA is that they have stackable certifications. They often say you can't secure a network if you don't understand networks. So if you desire to be that cybersecurity professional, understanding networks with, with the certification like the Network Plus will help you better prepare for the Security Plus and then ultimately 
be better prepared for being that cybersecurity professional that you want to be. Number seven, what's more important, learning the skills on your current job or getting a new IT certification? This is a question I had to ask myself numerous times throughout my career. For example, in my previous position, I wanted to get a new IT certification, but I was in a very large environment that offered me many technologies that would improve my skills in my resume. For example, Cisco ICE. What I did was I weighed the options of getting a new certification and learning Cisco ICE. I hopped on Indeed.com and I looked at the skills that a senior network engineer needed in order for me to get the job and get the salary that I desired. And so what I found was that getting another certification for me wouldn't be as beneficial as learning Cisco ICE. Not only would it add value to my resume and improve my skills, but it would add value to my company, which will ultimately make me more valuable to them. Number eight, can I afford this IT certification? Many people do not take into account the cost of IT certification, the cost of training, the cost of the certification exam, the cost of time that you had to spend on the certification, and the cost of energy that you had to put towards the focus of achieving a certification. A great way to get your IT certification funded is by asking your employer. If you don't have that option, another great way is if you're a veteran looking into MGI benefits. Another option is WGU, Western Governors University. Lastly, for those of you that are not veterans, check your local employment council and then also your workforce development office. They often have resources to help people cross train into new career fields or to just get the skills they need to land a job. Number nine, do I have the right resources? There's nothing worse than preparing for an exam or taking a certification exam and realizing you've been studying the wrong content and material. It happens. Be sure to check your vendor's exam topics. Like if you're working on the CompTIA A plus or Security Plus, look up the exam topics on CompTIA.org and use those as your guide to prepare for an IT certification. Number 10 and last on the list. Will my life allow me the time to focus on an IT certification? There have been several times that I've worked on certifications and I've went into it like, I am going to achieve this certification and nothing's going to stop me and then life happens. So when you're working on your IT certification, if you have a family, bring them on board. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let everybody know what you want to accomplish. Have your support system. If you don't have a family or if you just need some like-minded individuals to help you through your journey, lab every day, hashtag the community on social media. There's a number of great individuals that will help you and encourage you on your journey, providing resources, training, information, whatever you need, support, we got you. 2019, our goal has to be to learn automate and to focus. When you're chasing that next IT certification, make sure you think about these questions that I've listed and then also work to build balance to establish that skill set that you actually need to have a real impact in the industry. I wish you much success and if there's anything I can do to help, please feel free to contact me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.